Barely two months ago, this is what it looked like at Pappas Drive-In and Restaurant in New Smyrna Beach, as actor Brad Pitt filmed part of his upcoming Formula One movie there. But this morning, it all went up in flames, destroying the landmark eatery. As News 6 anchor Crystal Moyer tells us, people in the area are now devastated. It's likely a total loss. This is all that's left of Papa's drive-in and restaurant. It was an icon for New Smyrna Beach. Absolutely. You know, we've only been here 11 years, but we've been here often and uh, enjoy coming here. So we have several uh, restaurants, businesses that are kind of iconic, and this is one of them. Uh, right here on US-1, uh, it's kind of the kind of a unofficial gateway to New Smyrna when coming from the, from the north, so uh, it is definitely hard to see. The loss even hits home for New Smyrna Beach Fire Chief Sean Vandermark, who says the fire was called in by a passerby around midnight Monday. Uh, when we got here, we fa had fire um, in, in the attic area, the rooftop area, also towards the rear, uh, mostly towards the rear of the building. Right now, Vandermark says it's unclear exactly why the fire started. These older buildings are stubborn, uh, heavier timber, heavier dimensional lumber. Um, layers of roofing material, they get really stubborn to put out, so. Yeah, um, they keep popping back they up. They keep right? up in all places. I mean, we've been here for eight hours now, and you can see there's still spots that we're having to surgically go through and pick apart just to get them to act, fully get extinguished. The loss hitting the community hard. I am very sad about this. We were just here a couple days ago and had breakfast with our granddaughter, and it's just hard to believe and sad. And I was going to go out for breakfast at the best place around. Mm -hmm. So I was very shocked that I wasn't able to come here. But it's not just the food they'll miss, it's the people. The waitresses are all very friendly and um, they're eager to tell you stories and ask where you're from. And um, I found that to be really nice that with the personal touch. It was a great place to be and we're gonna miss not being able to go to it. And I feel for the owners and all the workers because they worked their buns off. They really did. They really tried to make everybody happy. The community says they hope the owners will rebuild and restore this neighborhood treasure to its former glory. Many a meal was consumed in, under that roof. Very sad, very sad. But you know, maybe they'll rebuild and life goes on, right? Crystal Moyer, Getting Results, New 6. The fire chief says thankfully no one was hurt, but says it took as many as six engines, 25 people, and at least six hours to start to get the fire under control. The state fire marshal is now there trying to figure out how it all started.